detailing cage and we're going to show you how to take care of your motorcycle helmet. Now I got a few helmets. Oh, I forgot the helmets. Let's go see if Panda can go get us some helmets. Panda, Panda, where are you Panda? Panda? There's the Panda. Hey, what's up Panda? Okay, so you're going to go get me some helmets. Um, uh, you want money. Okay, there's the money. Go get me two helmets and come back right here. Deal? Deal. Let's see you guys in a little bit. Gosh, where is that panda? It's been like 20 minutes. I told him to come back. Hey, panda, there he is. Yes. Thank you very, very much for the helmets, panda. I appreciate it. Panda chest bump. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. So now we got some helmets and we're going to show you guys how to detail the helmets and protect your goods. So a lot of you guys out there are getting ready for spring. It's that time of year to get all your motorcycles out. So we're gonna show you how to protect your gear and keep it looking good so it looks good all year round. So first, let's see what Panda got us. So Panda first picked us up a showy helmet. There we go, this is pretty cool. Let's open it up. Now these are brand new helmets. And these are a little bit more high-end helmets. So we're going to show you guys how to take care of some helmets today. So we got that. And we also got a nice Bell RS1 helmet. Let's open this up and check out what we got here. There we go. And this is really nice. Here we go. So we got two helmets. And I'm going to show you guys how to take care of your helmets and make sure that they're protected. Now, if you guys are out there riding motorcycles, you'll know that a helmet is one of the most important investments that you'll make in all your riding gear. It's your biggest piece of safety equipment and they're a very expensive investment. Now these helmets both cost several hundred dollars so we want to protect them and make sure that they're always ready to ride all year round. So a lot of you guys may ride in the sun, also in the wet, in the snow, in all types of weather and your helmet's going to face those ab that abuse. So today I'm going to show you how to protect the helmet using our brand new line of Chemical Guys Jet Seal Sealant. So we have our new Jet Seal, which is a high gloss paint sealant for painted surfaces with a gloss finish. And then we also have our brand new Jet Seal Matte. Now Jet Seal Matte is designed for matte finishes, so it's gonna be great for both these helmets. We're gonna use Jet Seal on the showy helmet, and we're also gonna use our Jet Seal Matte on this matte Bell RS1 helmet. Now both Jet Seal and Jet Seal Matte are designed to protect any type of painted surface. So it's perfect for your car, your truck, your motorcycle, your RV, any uh, vehicle that has painted surface, Jet Seal can also protect. And it also works great on glass and metalwork and plastic surfaces as well. But a lot of people don't know that all of these sealants can both work on helmets. So we want to protect our helmet because both of these helmets have a painted or a matte surface. This showy helmet is actually an RF 1100 and it actually has a hand painted exterior shell. So this is painted in Japan exactly like a car would. It's a, a, it's a beautiful metallic silver finish. So we want to enhance that and protect it from any type of fading or discoloration. On the other side, we also have this matte helmet. And this matte helmet has a graphic print and it's, we want to protect that graphic print from fading and discoloration in the sun or stains from water. Matte surfaces can easily stain. So if we were to hit some dirty water and get all over our helmet, it could actually stain it up. So let's go, let's go ahead and show you guys how to clean the helmet and actually make sure that it looks good on both surfaces. So let's start with the showy helmet. Now this is a brand new helmet and it's a true investment. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to first clean the helmet with our Chemical Guys Speed Wipe. Now right here I have everything we're going to use. I have our Chemical Guys Jet Seal. I also have our Chemical Guys Jet Seal Mat, our Vintage Speed Wipe two premium microfiber towels that are extra soft because I don't want to scratch our helmet. And then I also have two applicator pads that we're going to use for both helmets as well. Now the one thing about the helmet is that we're protecting brand new helmets because if you're going to buy an investment and spend hundreds of dollars on a helmet, you want to make sure it's protected because this is a large investment. So protecting it right when you open it out of the box is going to make sure that your helmet looks good all the time. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the helmet with our Chemical Eye Speed Wipe. This is a brand new helmet, but still there's dust in the box and also been shit sitting on shelves. So we're going to go ahead and clean it up. So I'm going to first go ahead and take my quick detail spray, my speed wipe, and I'm going to spray the helmet. I'm going to try and not spray the visor because we're not going to apply any sealant to the visor. Now speed wipe is awesome because it removes dust and fingerprints and oils, things that can uh, inhibit the bond 
and prevent proper adhesion of the sealant. There we go. This is a really beautiful helmet. I like this helmet a lot. It's a beautiful metallic color and a lot of helmets don't look this beautiful bright finish anymore. A lot of them are black or have a matte finish like this one, but it's really cool to see a nice bright helmet. This helmet also has decals, so it has the manufacturer decal on the front and the back, but these aren't actually decals, they're actually painted underneath the clear coat. So this helmet actually has a clear coat just like an automobile, so Jet Seal is going to work perfect on this helmet. So it will also work on any other brand helmet that you have. Uh, that's a painted exterior as well. So now that we have our helmet all cleaned up, let's go ahead and apply some Jet Seal. Now Jet Seal uses Hydrotech polymers, so why am I putting this on a helmet? I'm going to put Jet Seal on the helmet so when I go riding out in the wet, water is just going to slide off that helmet, it's going to go instantly dry. Plus it's going to protect it from discolorations when I'm out in the sun, because we all know when you're riding out in the sun, the sun can beat on your helmet and cause discoloration. So let's shake up our Jet Seal. Now after our jet seal is shaken up, I'm going to go ahead and put a few dots on my applicator pad. Now I'm only using a few dots to get started because it's a really small helmet and I don't need to overuse product. Now let's go ahead and gently work it onto the helmet. Now I'm spreading it all on this helmet on the outside gloss finish. Now jet seal is designed to give a full 12 months of protection. So no matter what, you can ride your bike all year round and you can also protect the helmet from any type of discoloration or fading. It also protects against water spots as well and contamination. Now you notice that I'm working on a microfiber towel. This is one of our elegant edgeless microfiber towels. They are an edgeless microfiber towel and they're extra premium. I'm going to add a little bit more and I'm going to go ahead and work on the face. I'm also keeping Jet Seal off the rubber. You don't want to go ahead and put Jet Seal on the rubber. It's only designed for painted surfaces. So if you want to go ahead and put it on your helmet, you can easily go ahead and protect it, but keep it off the rubber surfaces for the best result. This also works on ATV helmets, off-road helmets, motorcycle, go-kart, any type of helmet that has a painted gloss surface. So now that my helmet has Jet Seal applied to the whole exterior and it's looking good, I'm going to wait 20 minutes for this to dry. That way the Jet Seal is going to bond to the surface and get proper adhesion. After it's dried after 20 minutes, we're going to come back and buff it off with a microfiber towel. We'll see you in a moment. So now we're back after 20 minutes and we've allowed Jet Seal to dry to the surface and now it's ready to be removed. Now Jet Seal uses hydrophobic technology that bonds to the surface so it's easy to remove and it's going to protect the surface for up to a year. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my microfiber towel and I'm going to gently buff off my Jet Seal. Now the thing I love about Jet Seal is that it removes effortlessly. If you use a nice thin coat, it's going to easily remove from the surface. Now if you notice I'm not using any on the shield, that's because I actually contacted Showy and Showy actually recommended that I don't put any product on the, seat, on the shield because it actually uses anti-fog technology and it has a special coating on the shield itself. So I'm not going to put any type of sealant on the shield and I'm only going to use a Chemical Guys Signature Series glass cleaner to clean the helmet. The shield can scratch very, very easily so it's good to avoid heavy cleaning on the shield or even heavy touching. Microfiber towel does work perfect for removing any type of smudges or fingerprints all over the helmet. I make sure that I get all the vents on the helmet clean. Make sure that it's perfectly smooth. Now if you know this, I'm using a great microfiber towel here and that's so I can easily turn the helmet over and clean the entire helmet so I don't get any scratches or marks on this beautiful RF 1100. There we go. Now our helmet looks fantastic, has a nice brilliant sheen and it feels extremely smooth, much smoother than it felt right out of the box. Plus we know when we go riding, the water is going to slide right off the helmet and it's going to stay completely dry. So now we got our shiny helmet done, let's move over to our matte helmet. Now this is a Bell RS1 helmet. Now this is another high-end helmet that a lot of people that ride motorcycles or drive go-karts like to wear. This one has a cool graphic on it and we're going to use Jet Seal matte to clean up the helmet and protect it as well as prevent the fading of the graphics. Graphics helmet 
are a really popular option today to get a nice graphic on any type of helmet. So we want to make sure we, pr we protect that graphic and make sure it stays looking great. Now instead of using our Chemical Guy Speed Wipe for the matte surface, I'm going to use a specific matte detailer to clean it up. Now this is our meticulous matte detailer and spray sealant. This is going to wipe off any dirt, fingerprints, or smudges that are on the helmet. This helmet was actually manufactured over a year ago and it sat in the box for a long time so it has dust and maybe it's been tried on and touched a lot. So we want to make sure that the helmet looks good and remove all the fingerprints to allow proper bonding. So I'm going to grab my second microfiber towel just for the matte surface and I'm going to go ahead and take my spray sealant and I'm going to spray it on the towels. This is a full size 16 ounce bottle that we offer. This is actually our four ounce tester bottle. So if you want to try out any of our products, this is perfect. I like having this on a motorcycle because this is great because I can throw it under the seat or I can keep it around my bike since you don't need a lot of cleaner to clean a bike or a helmet. So now that I got my meticulous matte detailer on my microfiber towel, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the helmet. Just like the showy helmet, I'm not going to wipe down the screen because the screen can easily scratch and I want to prevent touching the screen. Now once we've gone ahead and wiped all the dirt off the helmet, we flip the towel over and we buff it off to a nice matte finish. Now if you're looking to maintain your helmet, meticulous matte detailer is the perfect accessory to maintain your helmet. It also works if you have a matte bike. So if you have a matte car, a bike, or a truck, RV, off-road vehicle, ATV, you can easily clean it with meticulous matte detailer. So now our helmet is all cleaned up and now it's ready to apply our Jet Seal matte. Now our Jet Seal matte is an all new formula and Jet Seal matte is actually designed to protect the surface for up to 12 months as well, just like the standard Jet Seal. Now Jet Seal matte is designed to give no shine. It gives a beautiful matte sheen and uh, protects any type of OEM matte finish. So if you have an OEM matte BMW, a Lexus, or a Ferrari Lamborghini, this is going to be perfect to protect any vehicle. But since we're working with a matte surface right here, it's going to be great for this helmet. I'm going to grab another microfiber applicator pad and I'm going to use this to apply Jet Seal Matte. So I'm going to first open up my Jet Seal after I shake it up and I'm going to apply just a few drops to my applicator pad. Now I only need a few drops to get started because I don't want to overdo it on the application. A nice thin coat is best. go. Now I'm applying a very very thin coat because Jet Seal, both Jet Seal Matte and Original work best when applying in a nice thin coat. So I'm not overdoing it. I'm making sure that I apply a perfect coat over the helmet and ensures that it looks good. Now I want to protect matte surfaces because matte surfaces are often susceptible to being faded in the sun faster than any type of smooth or gloss surface. So I can just turn around get the back of the helmet and you notice those four drops just easily did the whole entire helmet. There we go. So now our beautiful Bell helmet has a nice coat of Jet Seal matte all over the top. Jet Seal Matte also requires a 20 minute dry time. So I'm going to go ahead and wait 20 minutes. I'm going to come back and then we're going to remove it and expose that beautiful matte sheen. We'll see you in a moment. So we've come back, it's been 20 minutes and now our Jet Seal Matte has bonded to the surface. Now if you notice when I was putting it on, the Jet Seal Matte first went on with a shine and now it immediately bonded to the surface and now it's already matte. Now I just need to go ahead and remove any excess that's on the helmet and expose a beautiful matte finish. So I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm going to gently go ahead and buff off any excess on the helmet. Now Jet Seal Matte and, and our new Jet Seal formula have improved bonding so they actually bond to the surface on the nano level to provide super hydrophobic protection. That way a lot of you guys that ride your bikes out in the rain and you get super wet out there or you're riding in heavy weather like snow or ice, you can easily go ahead and ensure that your helmet is going to be protected and it's going to stay looking good. Because a helmet is a true investment into your safety and your bike gear. Here we go now, just after a few moments and one coat of Jet Seal Matte, 
Our helmet looks great. It has that beautiful original sheen. It does not have any shine to it and it's maintained that original exterior print. So our matte helmet's gonna be protected against UV solar rays, contamination, and water spots to stay looking great. Now both of our helmets look awesome. Our gloss helmet has a beautiful, amazing shine to it that really stands out and it's gonna make sure it's protected and looks good. And our matte helmet looks even better with that beautiful graphic and a nice smooth finish with a Jet Seal matte. So if you're looking to protect any helmet or motorcycle, car, truck, or RV, you can check out everything that we used on our website, chemicalguys.com, where you can find our Jet Seal and our Jet Seal matte, the ultimate protection to any type of motorcycle or vehicle, or in this case, your safety gear, your helmet. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us. Check out our Chemical Guys Forum at chemicalguysforum.com. You can also find everything that we use on our website, chemicalguys.com. But always remember to have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing. Yeah, you